Those of you that are familiar with the Byte Brothers power panel know that it was designed for IP camera installers. Well, this is the camera wizard, and this was designed for CCTV camera installers. And it is a super powerful piece of equipment that can test every piece of CCTV gear that you're going to run into on the job. Let me flip it on. I'm going to hit menu item 2 so we can immediately take a look at some video. I happen to have a Spico camera here, and I'm going to connect it to my video in jack. I get a nice, clear color picture on my screen. Black and white would be the same. That's one powerful feature when you can see the video from the cam your camera you're installing immediately on the tester. The second most powerful feature is the camera wizard's ability to display the video signal's amplitude right on top of the picture that's being displayed. It's a little hard to see, and so I'm going to give you a little more contrast, but that is telling me that the peak-to-peak -peak voltage of the video signal coming out of this camera is 1.99 volts. I'll do it again to give you another shot to take a look at that. It also, by the way, is telling me my sync signal voltage, which is also useful to know. If your video signal is not at least one volt peak to peak, then your video recorder is not going to be able to record the surveillance video. And that is key. So right on top of the video signal, I'm sorry, in the video display, we can display the peak-to-peak -peak voltage of your video camera. That is an extremely powerful feature. The video camera wizard can also put out a RS-485 signal to drive the pan, tilt, and zoom functions of your camera. This particular Spico camera is not capable of pan and tilt, but it is capable of zoom. So let's go ahead and test that. I'm going to take my RS-485 adapter, which you get with the camera wizard, and I'm going to connect it to the Spico camera's RS-485 port. I'm going to make sure I get the polarity right here. Now, I already have my camera wizard set up to the Pelco D protocol, which is the most popular. And there are up to 20 different protocols that are buried in the camera wizard that you can select. This happens to be Pelco D. I know the address of my camera. You can have up to 24 devices connected to RS-485. The address of my camera is camera 1, and I've already set that in there. And so watch what happens when I push the telephoto and wide angle buttons of my... Notice how I'm zooming in? Notice how I'm zooming out? One more time. Zoom in. Zoom out. And this is a great way to get your presets. While you're installing the camera, you can actually play with it and find out what you think are the effective zoom angles if they're going to be fixed for this particular camera. If this could pan and tilt, it would also be doing that simply by using the left and right and up and down cursors. Now, if you want to test your monitor, I can go back to the video menu and I can look at, I can push forward for video generator. I can put out some color bars. Go back to the main menu. If I want to test a keyboard or joystick, I can select uh, RS-485 data test. And I would use my same RS-485 uh, data clips here, but this time I'd be receiving data from my keyboard and my joystick, and I could actually see a hexadecimal dump of the data coming off that device on my screen. So if you're involved in CCTV installation, the camera wizard is a tool you really should have.